fit. And then there's all the bits for the hinges to attach it to the aircraft itself. The first job is to make sure that this bit fits the aperture in your fuselage. And that fits a treat. And then the perspex over the top. And a whole load of drilling. So, one plexiglass and one frame, all drilled to match. I'm just running a blade along the inner edge of the window frame to just cut through the plastic protective covering over the plexiglass because I need to apply a resin to bond the frame to the plexiglass. That is almost as much fun as picking scabs. <laughs> piece of 120 grade sandpaper to scuff up the edge of the plexiglass so that the resin sticks better to it. You don't need to go mad with this. So, resin first, and then a bit of hardener. Right, that is mixed. Right, now I've done the plexiglass, I can just swap that over here and start putting some resin on the frame. Get a little bit more resin on the frame because it doesn't run off so quickly because it's not quite such a smooth surface. But you need to work quite fast because obviously this stuff is going off all the time. You need to get it back together and then all riveted up before it goes off. Okay, so put the two together. And then some Clecos. Now that's all held together with the Clecos, we can start riveting with the little countersunk rivets. Bandsaw is the perfect tool to cut off all this excess plexiglass. We don't need to go right down to the edge of the frame here because we can always sand it down for the last bit. We just need to take off the major part that is too big. And the key is to keep the bit you're cutting flat to the tabletop. Just got that little edge down there to do. But that's not a bad job. Not too much sanding to do. I like it. Hey, Pete. What? What do you reckon to my new sunglasses? Fantastic. Uh, they really work well in the helicopter. Is that, that cool or what, eh? Yeah, wow. Look at that. Uh, you just chopped my nose off, Pete. <laughs> oh. They are, you see, when you take the doors off, when you want a bit of that summertime flying, you've got these. There's your specs. The bit needs to sit on this edge at the front here. It's amazing that all these panels in themselves are not that strong, but once you start attaching them to each other, it starts to become incredibly rigid. Can you just check us another clique, mate, would you? Yep. Thanks, mate. Why is it you can never find the one you want? One in there, you don't have to go through the whole oh. box. Little old me. I have to make myself laugh, otherwise I'll go mad. Lovely. <laughs> Just been doing a bit of weight training. Oh, right. No, of course, because of these things, the windows, they don't like the cold. Thought the best place to put them was in my boiler suit. One eyebrow and another eyebrow. Put that one down there for now. First job is to place it in the aperture and then see how well it fits. And you can see here's a bad fit in this corner. Right, to the sander. Oh, don't worry, this is just to stop the public hassling me while I'm building. Pete, mate, yeah. uh, could you bring my mask, please? Hey, 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 the path, thank you. The path oh. for the public, round there. Excellent, go back the way you came, would you please? Okay. 
I can put a line all the way around this little window, which is where I'm going to drill the holes to fit it in place. I know they've got to be seven millimetres in from the edge of the window. So I'll just mark that up there. And then this old woodworking trick where if you hold the pencil, or the pen in this case, so that the tip of the pen is on your seven millimetre line, and then use your finger almost like a backrest as a gauge and you know that you're seven millimetres all the way around. Can I just say, Pete, yes. how fantastic those glasses oh, look I on know, you. I, know, I, know. I said, you've got to wear some glasses, and he went, yeah. but, but, and he did this. He, did, he went like this, he went, but they don't suit me. Well, you know. <laughs> Outside line, Mark. Okay, nice one. Next. I'm fed up doing this now. I can do something else. Fed up doing this? Yeah. We're just drilling holes, aren't we? I mean, it's boring, isn't it? This is kit building. Oh, see, right, OK. It's the best kind of play you'll ever have. Right. Okay. An eyebrow having acupuncture. Next job is to cut some air vents in these side panels. I've got this one already marked up to cut in this face here. So it's mask on. And here we go. Right, Pete, mate, yeah. could you just take this? Yeah. No closer, no closer, you can't come past the sign. Okay, okay. Thanks very much. Oh. Yeah, you just drop it. All right. Very expensive mask. Now, this should sit in here nicely. Down here, we will end up, when this panel is on, with four layers. We don't want four layers, so these will be cut out into a cross, so that lies down as two flat layers, as it should do. Pete, yeah. I need one more. Yeah, you find that side. Okay. trimming and fettling and coming back trying it and back to the bench for a bit more sanding but when you actually get the bits to fit it's enormously satisfying right let's see what that looks like excellent nice bit of clearance there next job is to put in some more clecos in a line somewhere around here which will be where the fixings are from this panel into the seat back which is in here now the problem is obviously it's very difficult to gauge where that seat back is but not if you make yourself a special tool. This is a good tool because not only can you use it for this, but also you can actually turn your sausages on the barbecue with it, which is an added bonus, really. So what you do is you've got the little flat end there, which once the window has been taken out, you can feed this in, and where it touches the seat back on the inside, it obviously stops. Squeeze it together. So all I need to do is just put a little dot on the end of this arm of the tongs, like so, and that's the front edge of the seat back, so I'll need to come back about a quarter of an inch from there. So what I need to do is move all the way around to get the right shape that I can, like the kids do, join up the dots. Tell you what, this is a very clever trick. So here goes. Yeah? Where's the footpath go? Can, can you not read? Oh, yeah, Thank I'm you, you're being trespassing. I actually had a look in the manual. It's not a quarter of an inch back from my original line. It's actually half an inch back. It's a good job I checked. And I've used some tape on here, which is half an inch wide, just to mask it out. And I'm just drilling on the back edge of it. Well, we've got quite a little production line going here. Me and the old bloke. Right, there we go. 
Last one on. Good job. Right, the next bit to go on, I'm going to give you a clue about this, OK? It's two words. It starts with... And then... Dog. 